Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install custom badges onto your 3DS or 2DS um, with custom firmware. So the links are in the description as normal. My 3DS's SD card is connected to my PC right now. So I'm just going to head over to the first link. Um, so as you can see, it's a GitHub page. What you want to do is just scroll down and you want to download this, GYTB, and you want to download the CIA version for custom firmware. So it's a Dropbox file, you can just hit download. Right guys, so once that's downloaded, what you want to do now is head over to this link and choose some badges that you want to add on to your 3DS. So you can choose as much as you like. Um, I'm just going to have a look through and see if there's any that I want to add. So there's a Nintendo Switch one here, I can download that. There's a sort of like Smash Bros character one, I'm going to add that as well. And there's like a title badge, I think that one looks pretty cool, so I'm going to download that. Right guys, so once you've just downloaded all of the badges you want, head over to your downloads folder. As you can see, um, this is the first file we downloaded, you can just open that. So we just need to extract these two files to the, um, just the root of our downloads folder really. Now what you want to do is copy this one over into your 3DS CIA's folder, so copy that across. Then you just want to drag the badges folder to the root of your 3DS SD card. Okay, so once you've done that, all of these files can be deleted. Now what I'm going to do is just right click and do extract here. As you can see, we've now got tons of badges in our downloads folder. What I'm going to do is just delete all of the zip files. And all of these folders, you can delete the previews if you want to, you don't really need. But all of these files are going to want to go into the badges folder. Once those are copied across, you can just delete them from your downloads folder. So that's it for the PC. Now I'm going to head over to my 3DS and show you guys how to actually put the badges on your home screen. Alright guys, so once you're on your 3DS, you just want to go and launch up FBI. Then you just want to press A on SD, scroll down to CIAS, press A on that. As you can see it just loads all your CIAs in. What you want to do is press A to install and delete CIA on GYTB. So you can just do install CIA if you want, but I want to delete this from my SD card just so I can save a bit of extra storage. So press A, then press A again to install it. Alright guys, so once the install is finished, just press A. Then you just want to press B a few times to go back, and then press Start to exit FBI. So once you're on your home screen, as you can see, it says new software has been added, so just click OK on that. Now you can just unwrap it. As you can see, um, here is the application, so what you want to do is you just want to tap it, or just tap open to run it. As you can see, it's checking for all of the badges that you have installed. As you can see, they're appearing on the top screen now. So there it is, it has loaded everything. It's now going to have an option down here that says press any button to exit, so I'm just going to press A. Then your 3DS is just going to boot back to the home screen. What you can do now, guys, is you can select this option right here. You can then go down to place badges. Now you can just drag these badges onto your home screen. So I'll just go into a new section here and I'll show you guys um, what they look like. So um, some of these badges are split up into parts where you can make like one big badge or some of these badges um, are just like, you know, one small badge. Uh, so we've got a Kirby here. So let's just create this one right here. So as you can see, I just created a Kirby. That looks pretty cool, especially with the current theme that I've got. So we can add some more in as well. We can add, let's add um, Mewtwo. So you go, and I think there's some other badges in here as well. 
Okay, so there's that Nintendo Switch badge that I got. We can build that one right now. So you go, that looks pretty cool as well. Now, once you're done with a badge or you just don't want it on your home screen anymore, you can just literally drag the parts and put them back in. Okay, so once you're happy with the badges you've got on your home screen, you can just click the cross and as you can see, they are now displayed on your home screen. Um, just as like, you know, kind of like a cool feature. Um, if you're wondering what they do when you load them up, they just literally bring this badge um, sort of selection thing back up. So you don't really need to, um, you know, open them. Um, if you don't like the name up here, what you need to do is go into your PC and rename the picture file. And then you can just launch um, this um, application again. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you want some more 3DS videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.